that's my channel. I'm Tia, and I do mostly synthetic wig-related content here. We are multicultural, we're inclusive. I do anywhere from neighbor brand wigs to affordable beauty supply store wigs. So if you want to know about any of that, go ahead and sit here and wait and subscribe and click the bell and do all the things. Okay. Well, this uh, this girl right here is Renee. <laughs> The scroll right here is Renee Paris's June in the color Moonstone. If there isn't a full review up on her, there will be. A while ago, I did a haul, from especially yours, which is a uh, Holly Young's sister brand, and I got some braided wigs. So I want to go ahead and review one of those today. And this that I'm doing today is Miss Keaton. I have Keaton in the color T1B slash 30. She's in the cap size average. She is from the Dorinda Clark Cole line. She is heat safe Futura synthetic fabric. I got her for $39.99 on sale, I'm sure. This is the beautiful box that it comes in. And this is a sort of wig that comes with the braids, but also comes with the turban head wrap. So it's all one piece. Let me undo it. I did wear this once and I have learned a few things. So this is her cap construction. She has this sort of tied. So this is her. And you can see these gorgeous, I mean, the braids on this are so pretty. This is the tie part that goes around the head. It can be a little bit complicated to work with. She has one comb at the very top here. I shouldn't say complicated, but you do have to get used to her. She has one comb right here at the top, and then she has one comb right here at the back as well. Um, I love how it feels. The braids can feel a little bit heavy after a while, just like braids do in general. So that's just something to consider. All right, so you need to go ahead and put her on like, like the cap part of it. Okay. Then when you get the cap part in the right place, you need to put all of the braids in the front and sort of bring this tie around because it ties in the back. So what I do is sort of loosely tie it and make sure all the braids are underneath the tie. Now I'm going to flip these braids back. All right, so let's get this. So we have the two sides of the tie and then it's, so it's loose. It's not tied all the way. So what I like to do is get the tie in the right spot and then pull it tight. It has this sort of ruching that you want to utilize. And then you can just tie it in the back or if you wanted to tie it around, depending on your circumference. I'm going to go ahead and tie it back here. So it does, it takes a minute to get in the right spot and to tie, but once you do, it's fine. And then if you watch, I'm just gonna tie it. And tie it again, and then I'm just gonna let the ties hang loose back there. It's pretty secure in general. And then, yeah. And that's where she is. I sort of like doing like a little bit of flip over with the braids. Yeah, like this. But these are all the braids to the front. You can see the little tie there. I'll do some pictures of me outside so you can get the full view. Uh, but this is all of it to the front. She's probably on five foot six and a half. So she's going to be in 24 inch range. I do like this where, you know, it does have the curls. This is, it feels amazing. I think this is so cute. I think if you wanted to try braids, this would be a great option. I've actually had my hair micro braided. So even smaller braids than this. And first of all, it takes 1000 years. That's the other thing. If you wanted to try braids, but a, you don't want to take the time. You don't want to spend the money. It's expensive. And it's just like, it takes so long. Like it can take 10, 15 hours to do if you wanted to try braids to see you know what the what was i think this is a great option i do think it has a very realistic look to it like i said i'm a migraine sufferer so i did wear her one day at work and i had to come home and change because it was a little heavy for me but that's just me 
because I'm very sensitive to that type of stuff. Uh, I got a lot of compliments on it and overall she's really great. Let's look at her from the back. So I say the, the, the pros is, is it could save you a lot of time and money if you want to experiment and see what braids would be like. Okay. I think the cons is that it is probably heavier than a regular wig. Um, it's not going to be heavier than regular braids though. So, you know, if you really want to see that if you can do it without having to put a lot of time and money into it, this would be a great, great option. And it does take a minute just to figure out how to put it on. Once you do, it's fine. It's just initially it takes a minute to figure out how to put on. But other than that, that is what I have for you for Miss Keaton. Keaton from Especially Yours. And if you have tried this wig in a different color or a different braided wig from Especially Yours, go ahead and put that down below. I will link my Polly Young Especially Yours playlist down below so you can check out all of the wigs I've already reviewed from both companies. Okay, sister companies. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so if you have. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Video, video, video. Yep. Bye.